Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Vlog number nine, January 27th, 2024, Saturday. I am headed to a tour today. I was gonna go do this book club this morning, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm so bad. So I've got a tour this afternoon. It's a tour of Kreuzberg and it's a bit of a shorter tour. It's only gonna be two and a half hours long. They didn't want three hours for whatever reason. So I shortened it and charged it a little less. Basically, if I wanna see some cool stuff, I need a kebab. And I, so I'm gonna take them to Tadim. If you saw my first video on uh, kebabs, you'll know that Tadim is currently my favorite place for kebabs in Berlin. So I'll take them there. Yeah, I'll leave a link for that video if you haven't seen it. So I'll take them there, show them a few things in Kreuzberg. We'll go to Market Hall 9. I'll take them to see St. Michael's Kirchplatz and some other things. The Kuntz Quarter of Athanian. So if you come to Berlin and you want an off beaten path tour, Kreuzberg's a good one. And I forgot my phone, so I'm gonna miss my bus. That's okay, I left a little bit early. We'll be all right. So usually this tour starts at Hackesha Markt, for whatever reason, not my decision, it makes sense to me. But then we have to take the S-Bahn to Warschauerstrasse, and then usually I show them the East Side Gallery, which is, again, it's in Friedrichshain, it's not in Kreuzberg. So you spend an hour, at least an hour, of the Kreuzberg tour not in Kreuzberg which makes zero sense to me, but I didn't put the tour together. But they only wanted, for whatever reason, they only wanted two and a half hours. So I cut out that part of it, and I were starting at Schlesisches Tour, at U-Bahn Station, which turns out to be a good thing because of the, the driver strike, the train driver strike. We wouldn't have been able to take the S-Bahn here, and it would have been even longer to get over here. So, yeah. I love Kreuzberg. I, I'll, I'll link the video to Kreuzberg if I hadn't already done it. I can't remember if I said that earlier, but if I, I'll link it here if I have it. Okay, just ended my tour. Really lovely Danish family. I didn't get any shots, so I always forget when I'm with people. I just get caught up in what I'm doing. So, I'm headed home. Gonna stop at the grocery store, get a few things, then call it a day. Kinda beat, fun tour, but tiring. Okay, yeah, so today was a work day. And you know, even if it's a shorter tour, like two and a half hours, tours usually take a bit longer. I'm, I'm not gonna just leave people somewhere. And I don't mind going late. So, went a little long, probably went about three hours. And so, really, it's a five hour day when it comes to doing the tour, five and a half, getting ready, doing the tour, getting there 15 minutes early. It all adds up. So it was a long day. Yeah. So I, and before that, before I left, I watched a movie called Oh Boy, which subtitled is called A Coffee in Berlin. It's on Netflix in Germany. Don't know if it's on Netflix anywhere else, but it was a really good movie. I made a short about it. It'll be, it'll be out in a few days, probably be on TikTok tomorrow. If you are following me on TikTok at Seth in Berlin, just to like my channel, follow me on TikTok. I'm doing these little short videos, trying to, trying to grow on TikTok as well. So I watched, oh boy. And then this after, this evening I watched Goodbye Lennon. Hadn't seen that. Really good movie. I will say both are labeled comedies on Netflix. And while... They both had comedic aspects. They were not comedies, at least in the American sense. They are not comedies. Um, there was some comedy 
in them. There were some funny parts in them, but I wouldn't call them comedy. I really liked Oh Boy, A Coffee in Berlin. Funny that the German name for the movie is Oh Boy, which is, I don't know, weird. I really liked it. I gave it four and a half out of five stars. It really is a story. I'm doing movies that are set in Berlin. So it doesn't matter, you know, what the topic is. As long as it takes place in Berlin, I'm, I'm, I'm watching it. And this movie epitomizes what I'm looking for. It was a story about a young man who is going through, I don't know, a quarter to life crisis. Can't figure out what he wants to do with his life. He had quit law school. I can relate, although I didn't quit law school, but I went to law school. And the whole, it's just about his, this one particular day in Berlin. And Berlin is a central character in the movie. It's not just a setting. And I really like that. I mean, there are parts, a lot of it takes place in Kreuzberg. Um, you see Schlesischer Tor and you see Kati and you see these areas that I know quite well that I love. And uh, so Berlin is really an integral part of the storytelling. Um, so I really like that. I would highly suggest seeing, oh boy, if you can find it. And Goodbye Lennon was good. The main character, the, the guy in it, I've seen in so many movies. I think he was in, um, I think he was in the, some of the Jason Bourne movies. I can't think of his name though. But Goodbye Lennon was good. It's basically a story who, about this family, the mother, he goes, falls into a coma the day before the wall comes down and she wakes up eight months later and she was like a devout, she was devoted to East Germany, to the German Democratic Republic and the, uh, the socialist ideals. And the doctor basically told the sons, you know, she can't, not, she can't have anything upset or she, she might die. So he had to pretend that East Germany still existed. So it was an interesting story. I will probably give it three, three and a half stars. It was good. It didn't light my world on fire. So yeah, other than that, what else? Oh, ha. yeah. So my Austrian friend reached out to me and watched my video from last night and said, I did not mention that she was very happy for the things that I said, but I didn't mention how beautiful she was. And so that's my mistake. I don't, I didn't, you know tell you that but she is exceedingly gorgeous way out of my league but she's also an exceedingly talented singer not only is she exceedingly beautiful she's incredibly talented and so i'm gonna link her latest video in this video and check it out remarkable singer very talented she needs to grow her audience though and we can help her do that i think she could be a huge channel if she wanted to but her videos are really good her production is really good she does she's I mean, anything she does, she's good at. It's kind of sickening, actually. She's really good at pretty much everything. Yeah. So, anyway, there you go. So, I hope you guys had a good day. Y'all have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you tomorrow.